Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. How about a spontaneous Sunday haul video? All right, maybe not so spontaneous. I announced it <laughs> yesterday. Um, I was in the Cleveland area and I stopped at a ReStore, a Savers, and a Goodwill. And these are the things that I was able to find there and I wanna share them with you. There are a couple of bolos in here, so pay attention. <laughs> First, let's see what I got at the ReStore. First thing I found was this really neat cookie jar. It was priced $2 because it has no lid. <laughs> that was still an amazing price because I have the idea that this would look fantastic with a cork top. So we're gonna figure out how to put a cork lid in there and then I will decide if I want to sell it or not because I absolutely love the way it's uh, glazed and the colors. I love this coloration of the slate gray to the brown to that tan. It's just very cool. So I will have a hard time parting with it. It is not marked. I don't know who makes it. It just says April's. Sorry, April. <laughs> it's now Amy's until maybe she sells it. <laughs> so we'll see what... Um, what happens with that? I will keep you updated. Bolo, big time bolo. This is a Goble, new in the box. Tiny little miniature King Baltazar from the Nativity series. Let me get it out here and show you what he looks like. He's teeny tiny. I mean, look at, he's like maybe Less than an inch and a half, maybe an inch and a half tall. Super detailed. And he's still in his little sealed bag. So he's brand new. And that's pretty awesome. These, when I looked them up, I was shocked. Um, each of these little nativity people or some of them have animals, they go for big money. <laughs> The nativity set itself is crazy, but just, just one little figure can go 80 to hundred dollars. That was a shock. Um, so keep your eye out for these little boxes or those little tiny figures, because this guy was on a Christmas shelf that was 75% off. And he was, I took the sticker already off, but it was marked $3, which means I got him for 75 cents. I listed him yesterday for $79.99 because most of these I'm seeing are going for 80, 80 plus and he is factory sealed in there so I thought that was a good thing. I received an offer for 60 which I did counter and I'm kind of waiting for that. But I'm, I mean the offer came within an hour of me posting so I have no doubt that I'm going to get between 60 and $80 for this little guy. Keep an eye out for those. Look at that guy. So if you know me, you know that I collect Tonala, Tonala pottery, which is over there. Let me zoom in. That's some of my collection over there. But this pottery is called Televera. It's this colorful, glossy, um, whereas that stuff is more of like a like a sandstone, you know, it's very matte. It has a matte finish most of it. Some of it does have a gloss finish, but this guy is super glossy and fun and painted all cool. He's got a cute face. He's kind of purple, but there's the made in Mexico. I'm trying to remember what I listed him for. I will share. Um, but I got him, all of these I've taken the stickers off of, so I have to remember, <laughs> but I believe I got him for $3 as well. I'm always saying if I can get 10 times my money, that's amazing. Now this, this guy is like, <laughs> I don't know. What's the math on there? <laughs> hundred times. These guys are awesome. So this is a tourist piece from Canada, Muskoka, Canada. And they're in pretty nice condition, although I noticed on this bear, I believe his ears have been repaired. They did a nice job. 
they kind of tried to match this orangey, um, but just the way they feel and the way they look is a little off. But they did a good job, and I, you know, I put that in the listing that it looked like somebody fixed his ears. But how cute are they just hanging from that tree, those little cubbies? They feel like a bisque. They're, they're not like, um, they have that kind of rougher exterior. But super cute. I put new corks in their butts, and they're ready to go. I believe these are listed for $12.99 on eBay. So if you want them, go grab them. This was weird. It's a cigar purse, and somebody made this, obviously. They did a little decoupage up top here with this rose. I'm not sure that's a rose. With this flower. <laughs> it's made out of this punch cigar box, and it is kind of cool. I'll show you the inside in a second, but they did this custom handle on it with these tassels. There's this bow, and then there's this crazy, good girls don't. I'm guessing it's good girls don't ride bikes. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's this applied graphic here. It's just, it was just weird, and I could not leave it because it was only a dollar. And for a dollar, I figured I'm going to see if I can give it new life and put it on eBay because maybe somebody's just like, oh my gosh, that's so me. <laughs> so the clasp has a nice Velcro on it. And then it opens like this from the side. And there's this mirror in there. And then they lined it with this red and rose. Really nice, very clean. I'm not even sure anybody used it after it was made. Hopefully somebody will see it on eBay and say, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. This guy's cool. He's a Pinocchio, obviously. They were sold as blanks, where you could buy the blanks and buy a company called Zims. And then you could paint them however you wanted to paint them. And that's pretty cool. This person, not only did they paint him, but they added these little embellishments. Like he's got a bow, little bow tie there. And he's also got these great little heart kind of metallic embellishments right there. He's wearing like his lederhosen and then on his socks, on the top of his socks, he's got this. But he's a functional piece. Functional nutcracker. And he's just cute. They did a really nice job. He's got some, some sexy green eyes going on in there. And I don't know why. He's got this little walking stick. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I listed him for, but he is listed on eBay and I will share it right down here. And then last at Restore, you know me and my candles, this was Bath and Body Works. Hot Cocoa and Cream and it originally retailed at $14.50. I paid three bucks and it is fantastic. It smells delicious. All right, let's see what we got at Savers. I just picked up two things at Savers. Well, four things in one bag. They have this, this wall of bags that has like tons of just hanging bags with random things in them. And these four things were in one of those bags. I think maybe they thought they went together. They do look similar, but these are like hobbyist pieces. So these were blanks that somebody painted. And this does have kind of like a treasure craft look with that wood grain and that kind of tiki feel there. But these were just painted by somebody at home. I wanna say that they're just sauce dishes. Um, I you, you could use them for a little ring or something too, like a little trinket dish, catch your earrings or something, but they're nice that they go together, and I did list them on eBay, not for a lot of money. I want to say maybe, I don't know, 10 or $12. These pieces are treasure craft. These are nice older pieces, and they are single ashtray. You can see where you can set your cigarette there. Single ashtrays. They are signed treasure craft. This one just is signed. This one actually has a date on it. So 1962, 
they're in wonderful condition. A lot of these, the wood grain, this paint just scuffs off really easy, or you'll see like dings, white dings. There are a couple little, on the points here of the fish, you can see there's a little wear. That's a nice little set. I can totally see those on a tiki bar and they don't need to be used for ashtrays. I could see them with maybe, you know, little peanuts in them. So those were a nice little find. I, I saw, I spotted one of them in there and I thought maybe all four of them were treasure craft. But once I gave it a second look, I realized that they weren't. But that was cool. I paid $1.99 for the whole bag. And I will share with you what I have these treasure craft pieces listed for. I have them listed together and I have the hobbyist pieces listed together as well. And then I found this beautiful dresser scarf with this great embroidery, this floral embroidery that goes down and around, has the scalloped edge that's all stitched and this cut work, this fine cut work is really nice. It reminds me with the geometric pattern and the florals of something that might be 20s or 30s. I don't know if it's that old. It's in really great condition. It's very crisp and white. It needs a good ironing. And something like this, we'll go over to the shop because we do a lot better with linens at the shop. Um, although I may try it on eBay. I, I have to try some sort of linen on eBay. I haven't done that yet. Might have to do that. All right, so that was savers. Just a couple of things there. And you can see on here, I, I paid $1.99 for the dresser scarf as well. So $4 total was my trip to Savers, not bad. And then my final trip was to the Goodwill and I'm glad I stopped, even though I was exhausted, <laughs> I'm glad I stopped. Let's set this aside for a second. These three pieces were the pieces that I brought home from the Goodwill. This little guy, he's so cute. I wanna say they had him for $3.29 and He's made by Global Art, Harvey Knox Kingdom. And the date on him is 1983, House of Global Art. He's very neat. He has the What the World Needs Now in him and a switch in his butt, which I love the switches because that means they don't always have to run. I can show it to you and then I can shut it off. So let's see. Sounds like I wound him up pretty good. I'm not sure if that's the normal uh, pace to this. Let me turn him off. He is also listed on eBay and I will include the information here below. I love him and I think anyone who has, you know, Who's had a black and white puppy or a, he looks kind of like a Cocker Spaniel puppy, might find him and just love him too. Then I found this piece. I originally just picked it up because, well, number one, it was beautiful. I love brass and this is a hand created piece. It is actually signed. You can see it there in the leaf of that flower. Um, I have not yet been able to find any information on this artist or what this is, I originally thought maybe it was trench art. Some of the men during the wars would take the artillery shell cases and they would do this. They would hammer out art in them. There's some beautiful things out there. But normally those artillery cases, they have a hole here on the bottom for like the firing pin to hit and then they have some information on them. And this you can see is just a flat bottom it's diameter and it's weight and everything really to me scream trench art. So as I was doing research on this piece, I typed in what I thought was a signature right there. That's actually Saint Mihiel. M-I-H-I-E-L. It was a battle in World War One. So I think we are looking at a trench art piece. The bottom is not right, but that doesn't mean that they didn't use something else, maybe meaning for this to be a cup or a tankard of some kind. So yay me, I have to figure out now what it's worth. Speaking of beautiful quality, my goodness, this lady, she was sitting on the shelf and I thought for sure when I turned her over she was gonna be 
And I was shocked because she was priced at $6.99. And there is not a thing wrong with her. Talk about exquisite. I used the word exquisite when I when I talked about her yesterday. Um, or, yeah, two days ago. All of her parts are there. Her hands, look at the lines on her hands. Just so intricate. The details are so amazing. This hand doesn't rest on her shoulder. If you can see, there's space between it and her body, which just to me, it's like amazing that it's lasted, that it's lived, and that it got to the Goodwill in this kind of condition. It's just absolutely beautiful. It is made by an artist whose name is Boehm. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's B-O-E-H-M, made in the USA. I will share his full name here underneath. And I already have her listed. She will go live today on eBay. But as a viewer, if anybody's watching and wants to throw me an offer, um, I would love for her to go to somebody I know. She's just fantastic. All right, the last thing that I wanted to share with you is this piece, Our Treasures, the place, the antique and gift place where we have our room. Our room, the Yoso Boho room, is on the second floor, room six. When we're there, we always shop because you never know what you're gonna find and I've, I have found some amazing things. On this day, I found this great bubble-lidded apothecary jar this is made in Belgium. You can see there on the bottom. And it was $5, which is fantastic. These large jars are very popular. And in this color, this is a great blue color, should sell well on eBay. So I have not listed this yet. But again, once I edit this video, I will have it listed. And I will share with you down here what I am, have listed it for. And that is it. That is all. I did pretty good, I think, and I'm glad that you took the time on a Sunday to check this stuff out. If you see anything, most of it, like I said, is listed on eBay, um, reach out to me directly. I would be fine, you know, pulling something off of eBay and making a personal sale. So, all right, everybody, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that alarm button so you know when I put up videos Tuesday, Thursdays, and some spontaneous Sundays. <laughs> Hit that like button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you've been doing lately. Are you thrifting? What are you finding? I'd like to know. And finally, share out this video so we can keep this going. Love all you guys. Appreciate you so much. Take care and I will see you on Tuesday.